Vista recognizes Creative Zins as actually an external storage device, much like, much like a uh, thumb drive, or in my case, I'm going to show you my phone, recognizes my phone as a, as a thumb drive or external storage device. So in order for you to synchronize uh, music to it, you want to first make sure that the Creative Zen is recognized as a mass storage device. So uh, you would use the, the CD that came with the Creative Zen, or you can go to creative.com and download the drivers. Once the drivers are installed, it should recognize as a hardware or mass storage device in Windows Vista. Once it's recognized, you would then go to Windows Media Player and synchronize the songs that you want. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a podcast that I downloaded and how to sync that up with, uh, my, in my case, my phone because it recognizes it the same way the Zen would be recognized. So now that I've hooked up my phone, I'm going to go through Windows Media Player. And Windows Media Player is now recognizing my phone. How I can tell, if I go up to the Sync tab here, it lists Touch Storage Card, which is Touch's name of my cell phone. Um, your Creative Zen will show up here, and it should ap uh, aptly name it Creative Zen Touch. Um, once it's recognized here, if you click on the Sync tab, you'll notice over here in the right that it shows a little music device. Obviously, my phone's not a music device, but once it's inside of Windows Media and it's a mass storage device, it'll show up as a, uh, a place that you can drag and drop your music files. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop my Wall Street Journal tech briefing over here and hit Start Sync. And you'll see a little progress bar that says Preparing the Sync. And once it's on here, I can use my phone and play the podcast that I just dragged over to it. Same works for music. If As long as Windows Media Player sees the music, you can then pull it over to the synchronized portion and hit Start Sync, and you're done.